guys, it's Havana and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a makeup tutorial because it's one of my most requested videos. People have been asking me for a makeup tutorial for about a year now. So finally I'm making it. I'm actually making a real one. I've done like small ones on TikTok, but they don't really help. So yeah, I'm gonna do a good one on here. <laughs> Because I'm in Norway now, a few of my makeup products that ran out that I got from America, they don't have here, so I got new ones, but the old ones that I used to use, it's the Tarte Shape Tape, uh, I think it doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure it's the light beige. And this is my favorite concealer ever. And I just bought a new concealer today actually because it just ran out. Now I have the MAC and W20. So. So the first thing I do is brows and I just got my brows laminated, which means that they're basically like gel. Like it looks like that you have gel already, but it's just like the lamination that does it. So for now, I just brush them up, but the gel I used to use is a MAC one, but it doesn't say the name, so I can't tell you, but um, yeah. So the first product I use is this MAC uh, brow gel, but it doesn't say the name of the color, so I can't really tell you that. I don't know why it doesn't say that, but yeah, it's MAC and it has like glitter in it. <laughs> and I just got my brows laminated, so they're like, I don't need that much gel before I used to use like a lot, but now they're good so yeah i'm just gonna add a little bit and i first just brush my brows up with this just plain brush i just brush them upwards and this gel doesn't really gel up your brows what it mostly does is it just gives it color on your brows. I really like how it looks on my brows, so they look nice. So there you go. Now I'm done with my brows and the next thing I'm going to do is foundation. I have never used foundation and I'm now going to start using it because before I used to put um, concealer on my cheeks, like all over my face and it's not good for your skin. So I'm just going to use this Dior Skin Nude Air um, Oh, which shade? 10. It's the shade 10. So I've only used this one once, but my mom uses it and she says it's really good and she's really good at makeup. So <laughs> I trust her. I'm also going to set my hair up. Okay, my hair looks really ugly right now, but it's better. So I'm only going to use a little bit because I don't think I need that much. I'm pretty sure it's a, like full coverage. What? I'm scared I've never used foundation before. Oh my God, that was probably a lot. Oh wait, it's nice. It smells so good. This is kind of like a review. It smells so good, wow. Whoa, the difference. I don't know if you can tell on camera. That's a lot of difference. So far, I recommend this foundation. It also smells really good. Okay, I think that's good. Not too much. No, <laughs> that was like all the way up to my... The reason I put concealer on my cheeks is because my cheeks get really red, like out of nowhere, and it doesn't look cute. <laughs> so I just like used to put on my cheeks, but ugh. I'm also gonna put on my chin, a little bit on my forehead. Oop, that was a little bit too much. And then like right here, because I have some veins there and they're like really showy so i think that's enough i can't believe how good this foundation smells it's like i don't even know how to explain the smell it just smells really good whoa vanilla she always barks when like just anyone comes in the house, even if it's us. 
Okay, now that I did my foundation, I didn't put it all over my face, like not like too coverage. I just put it on where I need to. And then I'm gonna use my concealer to go under my eyes and on my eyelids. Oh, and like right here, because I need to lighten this. So the concealer I use is the MAC NW20. Uh, I think that's the shade, yeah. And W20 is the shade. And this is also my first time trying it. So I tried it in the store, but I haven't like tried it fully on. I like the applicator. I wish it was a little bigger though, but it's cute. It's like cute and tiny, but it works. So I'm just gonna make like a half triangle under my eyes and a tiny bit like right here. And then on my eyelid. That was a little bit too much on my eyelid, I think, but it's whatever. So now I'm just gonna blend that out. Do I look like Spider-Man? Hopefully I don't look too pale after this concealer because it's like kind of light. It's like a lightener concealer. Does that make sense? So we'll see. I think it's gonna look good. They, it like looked really good with like out any makeup. It just looked natural. So and it doesn't look cakey. Neither does the foundation. I'm glad because it like, I really don't like cakey foundations. Not on me. So it's like the perfect formula okay i think i'm done whoa wait am i done i'm not used to this Hold on. okay i'm done <laughs> so now oh my god i have to be in my eye get out i think it's gone Anyway, now that I did my foundation and my concealer, I'm gonna go in with my Hula Benefit bronzer. I'm gonna use this brush from Tarte. It's the Mermaid Collection. I really like these brushes. I used to have all of them, but now I only have three, but these are the ones that I use anyway, but they're really nice and soft. So I'm just gonna go like right here, right like under my cheekbone. I think that's cheap on both sides. And then I'm gonna go a little bit like on the sides of my forehead. Also, I got this like long sleeve from a store today and I'm obsessed, it looks so cute. And then I'm just gonna go a little bit like to define my jawline. It doesn't, I don't like really see any difference. I just feel like doing it. So now that I did that, I'm gonna go in with this brush from the Naked Heat palette. It's the HBR80W brush. It's very nice. So I'm just gonna go with that on like sides of my nose and on my eyelids for like an eyeshadow. I don't do too much. I just wanna put like a little bit more color to my face. I really like the Hula Benefit bronzer because it's like the perfect shade for like, just like natural eyeshadow. Like you don't even have to put any other color on. It just looks really good like right away. Okay, so now that I look psycho, <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this MAC blush. It's the Melba matte shade. <laughs> and I'm gonna go uh, in with another brush from Tarte, which is, doesn't say, but it's from the same collection. 
I'm just gonna dab a little bit because I already have rosy cheeks. So I'm gonna dab a little bit on my cheeks and then a little bit on my nose, but not too much. There's a little bit too much color on my nose. Okay, there we go. Now that I have my blush, I'm going to go in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter palette. It's literally my favorite palette of all time. It works so well, but it's really <laughs> beat up, <laughs> like really beat up. Um, the only like color that I use is the only one that's in right now because all of the other ones fall out. I don't know why. It's like every time I get the palette, if I drop it, like all the other ones go out except for the ones I use. Like, it's so confusing. But yeah, I use the lightest shade, which is called Summer. And I'm gonna go back in with another tart brush and just put it like, just highlight here. Look how good it is. Like, it's literally insane. <laughs> I have to smile for it. And then on the other side. I can't really see anything, hold on, because of lighting. And then I'm just gonna dab a little bit on two sides of my forehead and my chin. I don't know why I do that, I just do. And then I'm gonna go in with my pinky and just put it like right here by my lip, like right above my lip, just to make my lips look bigger. I just got this new lip balm, which is really, really nice. It's the Smiths. Rosebud Solve Balm. <laughs> it's like really good and it like works good as a blo gloss too. I cannot talk today. Ugh. Anyway, back in with my pinky. I'm gonna go a little bit more on the top of my lip and then on my nose, the tip of my nose. And like just a little above that too. And then right under my eyebrow, just to define it more. And then I'm gonna go in the corner of my eye. Oh, I just got a big clump. It's really hot here. <sighs> okay, so now that I'm done with my highlighter, I'm gonna do mascara. And I get a lot of questions about what mascara I use, and I use the Great Lash by Maybelline New York, and it's the very black one. Okay, so I'm gonna do my mascara off camera, and then I'll be back. Now that I'm done with my mascara, I'm gonna do my lips. And also, it's dark outside because I just had dinner after I did my mascara, so it's been a while. Yeah, it's fine. The first thing I use for my lips is this. I really don't know what brand. It, look, it looks like a G um, on the front, but it's called 514. That's the shade. I just use it like under my lip gloss just to Put a little bit more color onto my lips. I don't put too much because I don't want like very vibrant. I just want a little bit more natural. And then after I do that, I'm gonna go in with my lip gloss. The lip gloss I use is Dior Lip Maximizer in the first shade. <laughs> it smells really, really good. And it's like the perfect kind of shade. It's like kind of clear, but a little bit pink. I really love this one. Okay, so this is the final look. I really liked how it turned out, especially with the new foundation and the concealer. It looks really good. Um, so I'm glad that worked out, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more videos. And also comment down below 
blown, blowny. <laughs> And also comment down below what kind of videos you want to see on my channel and comment what makeup product you use if you do makeup and leave a like and subscribe. See you guys. Bye. Is it not stopping? <laughs>